The kingdom of God is like a boy who wanted to paint something on a canvas. He had a paintbrush and a palette, but he only used three primary colors to paint with, blue, red, and yellow. He used only three colors because he knew that he could create all the other colors he needed simply by mixing different combinations of those three colors. And so he began to paint. He mixed blue and yellow to get green, he mixed red and blue to get purple, and so on. Finally, he was done. He had painted leaves, grapes, water, and even a rainbow, all by just using those three primary colors. Again, the kingdom of God is like that same boy who had received a toy house as a gift. While he was playing with it, he decided to measure it with a ruler, a measuring stick. As he did, he realized he could measure it three different directions, up and down, left to right, and forward and backward. His toy house was just one thing, but it could be measured in three different directions. Each direction was different, but each direction was also united with the other two, so that together they made up the one toy house. The point is this. The Bible says that the natural world, the natural reality around us, speaks to us about who God is. Just like the reality around us is made up of time, space, and matter, and time is past, present, future, and space is height, length, and width, and matter is solid, liquid, gas, well, the three primary colors in painting are red, and blue, and yellow. So, so you see, it speaks to us about God. Now, it's kind of a mystery, but the Bible teaches us, if you take the scriptures all together, that God is a trinity. That's the important word. God is a trinity. He is one in three and three in one. He is one God, three persons, or as the theologians like to say, He is three distinct persons, and they are the same in substance, but different and distinct in subsistence. So that's what we're trying to teach today. God is a trinity, and true Christianity teaches that God is three in one, and one and three. So if you want to ask somebody or a church or a group of Christians that say they're Christians, if, and if you want to know if they really are Christians, as Christians have been throughout history, you want to ask them that. Do you believe in the Trinity of God? And hopefully they will smile and gladly say, yes, we do. Hey, how you doing? My name is Officer Duguid, and this is my dog, Chef. Say hi to the people, Chef. That's right. Now, you're probably wondering, what am I doing holding three balloons? Actually, three different colored balloons. Well, let me... What? No, bir birthday? No, it's nobody's birthday today. Nobody's birthday. I'm, try I'm trying to do an illustration here. So anyway, the reason I'm holding these three balloons is it reminds us of the illustration that we just saw. Three primary colors, remember that? Well, that helps us to remember God. You see, there's God the Father who is in heaven, our Father who art in heaven, that's the blue. Then you got God the Son, who is also God the Void, the one who came down to earth to die for our sins, to shed his blood on the cross. That's red for the blood of the cross. And then you got the Holy Spirit. What God gives us is Holy Spirit when we believe in Jesus Christ so that we can be the light of the world. That's yellow, the light of the world. You got that, chap? What's that? You want a balloon? Well, okay. Here, go ahead. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> you lost it. You lost it, chap. You want another balloon? I don't know. What do you think? Should I give him another balloon, eh? Yeah? Okay. All right, all right. Here, have another balloon. There you go. And be sure to hold on to it this time. You got it? All right, you got it. This is Officer Duguid saying, hey, be sure to hold on to what you believe about God. He's three and one, and one and three, he's a trinity. Be sure to hold on to what you believe.